Good news from the Olympics. I, I love to start Monday on a good, some, some, with some good news. Rarely, rarely can we do that, but we can here. Um, first of all, the U.S. women's soccer team lost to Canada. So <laughs> indignity on top of indignity. Uh, not only did they lose, but they lost to Canada, of all things. And that means they're no longer in contention for the gold. And that's, that's great news. Um, also this, from the Daily Wire, it says, New Zealand transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard competed and failed Monday in women's 87-kilogram um, weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics. So I, I wish these measurements were in American, damn it. I don't know, kilogram, I think, what is that? Uh, is it two pounds is a kilogram? I could be totally wrong about that. Pretend I didn't say it if I'm wrong. In Hubbard's first attempt, the weightlifter tried to lift 120 kilograms and failed. In the 43-year-old's second attempt, Hubbard lifted a very shaky 125 kilogram. As noted by one of the female commentators, it was very surprising that the questionable 125-kilogram lift wasn't challenged with an appeal. On the third attempt, Hubbard could not lift the 125-kilogram, bouncing the weightlifter from the competition. The announcer said, quote, uh, that's the end of Laurel Hubbard, as Hubbard waved to the cameras and to those at the competition. Uh, and so now, now uh, this, this man is gone. And that's good because... He deserves to be humiliated in this fashion, fashion because this is cheating. I don't, I don't care what, what the uh, insane official rules say. You're a male competing against females. You have, an, you have undue inherent biological advantages. You know you have those advantages, and you're using those advantages to your benefit. And I would say that's cheating. And so, so, he, so he lost. But, of course, what's happening now, predictably, is that the left is saying that this actually proves that men don't have an advantage. They're celebrating this, too. They say, yeah, see, you see, there's no advantage. Everybody's worried about Laurel Hubbard, a man competing against women, and, uh, and she loses. And so, you see, there's no, you guys are you're freaking out over nothing. There's no advantage at all. Yeah, except that this was a 43-year-old pudgy, out-of-shape dude. Have you seen pictures of this guy? Does not look like a weightlifter at all. Looks like I could, I could probably beat him in arm wrestling, okay? And um, out-of-shape, mediocre athlete who couldn't come anywhere close to qualifying against the men. Then, of course, but it's just a, it's a coincidence, though. Couldn't qualify, couldn't hack it against the men, and then discovers late in life that, oh, actually, I'm a woman. Well, what do you know? That's a coincidence, though. I mean, we, we, couldn't, we could never accuse Laurel Hubbard of having this um, revelation for self-serving reasons, even if it was extremely self-serving. It's a coincidence that it's so self-serving. You understand. But out of, completely out of shape, mediocre athlete, um, of course he loses, but the fact that he qualified as an Olympic weightlifter in the first place Against women tells you everything you need to know. I ask you, how many, how many pudgy, out of shape, forty-three-year-old females are qualifying as Olympic weightlifters? Can you give me an example of one? This dude is competing against like twenty-one-year-old women um, who have, who are you know, talented athletes against their own competition, and he waltzes in there and it makes it onto the stage at least. Oh, but yeah, the, the, the fact that this guy, this 43-year-old guy couldn't win the, the gold medal proves that men don't have an advantage. Yeah, you know what? If I, if I just uh, stumbled into the Olympics myself and, uh, you know, and, and was accepted as a female and I got onto the track against um, the women in the 100-meter dash, I would lose badly. Well, that, I, was, I guess that proves that uh, men don't have an advantage. Or it proves that I'm just slow, and I have no business being there. And of course, I would get beat. If you really want to know about the advantages, there's a website um, called boysvswomen.com, boysvswomen.com. And the whole website is dedicated to comparing the world record times, the, the women's world record um, times in track and field events against high school boys. And if you go down the list, 
So basically, you have the best high school boy, um, a child, against the best female athlete in the world. And if you go down the list for all the track and field world records, the boy wins. The boys win every single one except for the marathon. All of the others, well over a dozen, close to two dozen, um, the boys win handily. So, so for example, 200 meters, just pulling one example at random, 200 meters, the the women's world record is 21.34. World record. Best woman, female athlete in the world. Adult. That was beat by a 14-year-old boy with a 20.89. Okay? Um, And that's a pretty significant difference, by the way, in a 200-meter dash. 1,500 meters, uh, best female time. Women's world record is um, is uh, three minutes, 50 sec, 50.07. And um, that was beat by about two seconds by a 14-year-old boy. And you go down the list and you've got 14-year-old boys, 15, 16, 17-year-old boys beating the women's world record times in every single contest except one. Oh, but there's, there, there's, there's no advantage. No advantage at all. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.